Hey guys, welcome back to Banging Gears. Today we're going to start off things a little differently. We're going to answer a question I received on the swing case video I made a few weeks back. I'll put the link up here or here or wherever it goes. Uh, and the question was, do the swing cases block the rear corner tie downs in the bed of the truck? And unfortunately the answer is yes. You could always take the swing cases out when you're going to tie something down, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the storage of the swing cases. So today we're going to remedy that with a set of bull rings. They go on top of the bed. They don't interfere with the tanu cover, and it gives you an extra point for tying things down on the rear corners of the bed. So I'll show you everything you get, everything you need, and then we'll, we'll get it done. So stick around. Open it up, you're gonna get a set of instructions and you're gonna get the bull rings themselves. The only thing you need to install them is gonna be a Phillips head screwdriver and a regular flathead screwdriver. And that's really it. There's nothing to the installation of these, so let's just get right to it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do in the installation is you need to take off this cover right here. And it's easier if you take it off from the side because the way it's set up, it's got a groove that goes underneath the bed line here and underneath the bed line here. So if you just come over to the side, you'll see what I'm talking about once I get it. So because of these little tabs here that go under the stock plastic bed, the bed cover, you want to pry it from the side. Now, the boring itself is really simply simple to install. What you're going to do is you're going to loosen these two screws. Do not take them all the way out. You want to bring it just to the edge to where there's maybe one or two threads just holding it in. Because you want to be able to rock the top back and forth just like that. That may not be far enough. You have to come out a little bit more. Okay, now on the bull ring, you'll see the side that has the name on it, bull ring, is going to be a little longer. You can see the distance between here and here is greater than the distance from here to here. It can only go on the truck in one direction with the, the bull ring name facing the cab of the truck. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab it by the top plastic piece here and you're going to rock it to where it just goes underneath. And you might have to play with the screws a little bit to get it over because, let me see the camera real quick, because there's a little lip. You can see it right here where it dips down. Because of this lip right there, this metal lip, it's a little difficult to get the bull ring in. So you have to make sure you do those screws, back them out just before they want to fall out which that might be it. Oh, see, that one fell out. It's just two. You don't want to do that. Just, just a couple of threads in. Ah, there, there, there we go. Okay. So then you can press it in. Once it's in, and now the screws, so here's a little thing though that I want to mention. So I have a, a tanu cover and the rubber gasket you can see goes underneath it here. So what you want to do is with the flathead screwdriver, you just want to maybe before you tighten it down, just see if you can get it under that without ripping. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. So now what you want to do is you want to Bring the ring up and then hand tighten them because that presses the back of the bull ring all the way up against the inner lining of the, of the fender. And then you just want to tighten them up by hand and you don't want to over tighten. Just snug them up because you, one, you don't want to strip the screws and then two, that's what the factory says, don't over tighten. So you can see 
They come in, they, they drop down, and they're not going anywhere. And that's really it. It takes five minutes to install. Uh, it gives you an extra set of tie downs in the back of the truck. And they don't want to interfere with your tie new cover. If you're interested, the link is in the description below. It's freezing out here. I'm going to go back inside. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Banging Gear.